This is the match that began three weeks ago and finished after just six minutes in the shadow of disaster. Thousands present on that haunting occasion are here today. Many of them, one suspects, were initially against this cup semi-final ever being resumed. A great number felt that way. But those whose decision it is to play on are the right people to make it. Liverpool Football Club in consultation with those families who suffered in that disaster. So it's play on for Liverpool, the club which has behaved in exemplary fashion in every way over the last few weeks. And they've already given notice in last Wednesday's Merseyside derby that their performances for the rest of the season will in no way be diluted. They'll be as competitive as ever. It's the only way for them to play the game. Kick-off schedule for about five minutes from now. And the same two 11s uh, that began that uh, match at Hillsborough three weeks ago are playing. Team confirmation for you from John Watson shortly. There will uh, shortly be a minute silence for uh, the victims of the Hillsborough disaster. And the same man is in charge of the match, uh, Mr. Ray Lewis. Silence impeccably obeyed. And now I hand you over to our match commentators, Trevor Brooking, and first, John Watson. So, in being ever mindful of its past, football now has to turn its face firmly towards the future. And let's hope this is a symbolic first day of a safer, more sensitive era. And let's take our first gentle step back towards normality by checking on the two teams. Liverpool field the side that drew so tigerishly at Goodison Park on Wednesday. Alan Hansen took another stride back towards full fitness, but Ronnie Whelan keeps the captaincy, and Hansen has said it should stay that way for the rest of the season. Ian Rush is sub there. Now Nottingham Forest reverts to the team which won the Littlewoods Cup and the Seamod Cup with Tommy Gaynor wearing the number seven shirt in preference to Franz Carr. In fact, Franz Carr isn't even among the substitutes. There are two young strikers there, Lee Glover and Phil Starbuck. And uh, Nottingham Forest, incidentally, have scored 106 goals in all competitions this season. And seven of those players are in double figures in their own right. Whatever happens, we're bound to get some drama because this is the semi-final of the FA Cup. And it is Old Trafford and it has started. And this is Nickel. And Pierce is there for Forest. Whelan, number nine, Houghton. Aldridge. Nigel Clough involved in his own half. Outside him, Gary Parker wearing 11. Nigel Clough wanted to get on with the throw and Ray Houghton made contact with Nigel Clough. I don't think Ray Houghton meant to uh, hit him in the face. I think it was... <laughs> an accident but uh, it certainly caught young Nigel in the eye this is Staunton Steve Staunton 20 year old left back for Liverpool big occasion for him did well Hansen Hansen at nearly 34 
Houghton again. The long ball. That's searching out. Johnny Barnes on the far side. He's free. Barnes, great save. Aldridge. A goal. John Aldridge. Liverpool in front. Fourth minute. And the long ball towards John Barnes. Fox, Brian Laws. They got tangled up. Two defenders in each other's way. And Barnes drove it. Brilliant save by Sutton. Really unlucky, the keeper. But John Aldridge, that's his instinct. That's his forte. And that's the lead for Liverpool. It, it was a great save. Uh, as it drops down, John Barnes not going, realising he's not going to get there. And suddenly sees him pop up. Hits it with his right foot, and really John Aldridge reacted very well because it was behind him, and he just looped in. And Grobelar is arguing with his defenders at the moment. He's a long way out. This is Webb. Laws, and now Beardsley. It's broken for Liverpool, and of course, there's movement on both sides. It's Ablett who's broken from the back on the left. Gary Ablett, the number two. Brilliant run. Laws got to him. Corner. The fluid Liverpool style. Ablett the man to lead the charge. Barnes takes the corner, it's floated. Nickel and Aldridge up together. This is McMahon. And this is Staunton. Parker. Webb trying to bring some method to the forest play. This is Pierce. Webb again. Now Clough, a nice little turn. Tommy Gaynor out right. Miss hit it. Clough here in the commentary position, it's 76 degrees. So uh, what it's like on the pitch, I don't know, but Trevor Brooking and I have both got our jackets off because uh, it's real cricketing weather, this, Trevor. Well, it is, and uh, I can assure you it's not that Forest will be feeling the more tight because Liverpool have played great possession of football and when Nottingham Forest just have to run around without getting a touch of the football I can, um, I can assure you you feel a lot more tired but here's a touch for Clough that was the first hint of an opening for Nottingham Forest and Liverpool's defence parted a little bit there in front of Grobelar I've seen uh, some spectators affected by the heat and uh, it's noticeable how quickly the first aid uh, facilities have been uh, activated there's Chapman oh McMahon made a mistake and Clough couldn't quite get there and Webb had a deflection and that's gone in it's a goal for Nottingham Forest Grubbelar I think was deceived by a deflection from Webb's shot and Forest are level in the 33rd minute it came from the throw-in, and this was unexpected. Lee Chapman got a McMahon's error, really. It comes back to Webb, he strikes it against the post and over the line. Grobelar couldn't grab it. This was what Nottingham Forest really needed, a goal out of nothing. It struck by, I'm sure that was deflected, but anyway, it's a goal. Robelar either was unsighted or deceived by deflection. But anyway, he couldn't get it down by the post. And it's 1-1. And that's put this semi-final into just the sort of perfectly balanced position that you would want as a neutral. Barnes. Barnes crossed, oh, against the bar, Aldridge. This is a bit of magic by John Barnes, and a header by Aldridge and against the bar. It was Barnes, and this is Beardsley, mistake by Walker for a moment, Aldridge is in. The whistle's gone already before the appeal for a penalty. I would say offside there, or else a push. But the Liverpool player was penalised before we even got into an argument about Pierce coming in behind him. The flag was up.
in time being added on now for stoppages by Ray Lewis at the end of this first half. And there won't be much of that. So, half-time in the FA Cup semi-final. Liverpool won, Kenny Dalglish's team off to a flyer, but Nottingham Forest coming back on 33 minutes to level things. After that, Liverpool hit the bar, plenty of activity, plenty of incident, the score's level. Just a reminder of who the substitutes are today, because that could come into play uh, later on. Ian Rush is one of the subs, and it will be interesting, Trevor, to see at what point Kenny Dalglish might think about using him if the score stayed level or they went behind. It really depends how the flow goes. I mean, he came on for John Aldridge in the Merseyside derby, but, I mean, Jordan Aldridge does look more like his old sharp self today. And uh, be very interesting to see, you know, just whether the heat does take this thing out of some of the players and, and all four subs are used. Yes, John Aldridge scored twice in the semi-final against Forrest last year. He's got one today and hit the bar, so he's not the kind of fellow you'd uh, take off without serious thought, is he? That's uh, Gary Ablett. And uh, here's Terry Wilson. Webb, Gaynor, Liverpool now playing right to left, attacking the Stretford end, as it's known here. Well, here's Barnes again. Wilson didn't make that, McMahon did. This is Aldridge. Houghton's in the penalty area. There are several waiting to come in on it, but Webb with McMahon. Nickel, Beardsley, Nickel. Steve Nickel still appeals for handball against Stuart Pierce by Steve Nickel, not given corner. Nobody else appealed. Nickel again. McMahon. Ten minutes gone in the second half. One one. And uh, Staunton again beats Tommy Gaynor. This is Barnes. Through the middle, Aldridge chasing. Mistake by Walker. Aldridge, great save Sutton. Aldridge again. Can he pull it back to Beardsley? No, he can't. Corner. Now, naturally, would have been a better choice. He was screaming for it, but uh, it's so easy from up here. Sutton takes credit. Good save. How important, we'll see. Here's Nickel. Nichols cross. Oh, and Sutton had to pour at it. Just got a hand. Staunton. Liverpool turning the screw. And Forrest get the ball away, but... Uh, that long ball through the middle again. Caught out uh, Des Walker. And John Aldridge got in behind him. Again, oh well played. Beardsley couldn't connect. Liverpool are threatening to do damage again. Whelan. Beardsley. Foul. Laws. Well, Steve Sutton is a very busy man just now. McMahon. This is. Barnes. What a great cross by John Barnes, headed away by Neil Webb, and the crowd seemed to sense, the Liverpool section that is, that this could be the moment. There are times in matches when Liverpool quite distinctly move up a gear, and this is one of those moments now. Houghton. Barnes again. Houghton. Close to it, number seven, and 
Beardsley and Aldridge went in with him. Aldridge will claim it. It's Aldridge's goal. And it's got two in this semi-final, two in last year's. And he's restored Liverpool's advantage. Gainers cross. 58 minutes. Aldridge again. said Liverpool looked as though they were going to score they were right on cue it was almost as though Trevor here's Clough it was almost as though the Liverpool supporters in that three or four minutes leading up to the goal were, were almost sucking the ball into the net at that Stretford end you know and it's very hot to make the sort of recovery runs that some of the Forest players are having to make now as Liverpool dictate the game Houghton. Oh, well played. Brilliantly played. Beardsley! From a magic little series of tricks by Ray Houghton on the right-hand side. He was teasing Stuart Pearce first one way, then the other. Then he took on Steve Hodge, pulled it back, and Peter Beardsley will feel, Trevor, that he should have scored. They still find their own player, Aldridge. That was beautifully done again. Oh, and that's going to be an own goal, is it? Brian Laws. And Liverpool may now be in the cup final. Aldridge setting the play up with Beardsley. Barnes didn't touch it. Laws certainly did. That's an own goal. And it's 3-1 to Liverpool. On the game, there's absolutely no question that Liverpool deserve to be in the lead that they've got. Good ball by Staunton. Walker. Chapman, Clough. That's better. Walker's through. Des Walker, who's never scored a goal for Nottingham Forest, could have made a name for himself in the semi-final, but so unused is he to being in that position, he spurned the chance. And I would have thought that with that, may have gone Forrest's last opportunity of staging what would have to be a dramatic recovery. He was clean through, he was onside, but he pushed that one wide of the post. Well, they said John Aldridge's place was under threat when Ian Rush came back from Juventus, and that obviously was the case, but uh, he's gone on scoring goals. Laws. Starbuck. Webb. Is the time for one more typical John Barnes run. Brian Law is forcing him out this time. A few disappointed Forest fans will be leaving early. But that's a good little ball by Nigel Clough to Lee Glover. Chapman in the middle. Stoppage time, still Glover. And Liverpool are through to the FA Cup final to play their Merseyside rivals, Everton. Kenny Dalglish's team with a smile back on their faces. And on those of the supporters who were able to come today. The end of a traumatic three weeks for them. But they wanted to play, they did play. And... They put on an exhibition which was worthy of the club and of the FA Cup semi-final. The double is still a possibility for Liverpool Football Club, but for Nottingham Forest to come off with heads bowed, the hopes of three cup finals in one season are over. Kenny Dalglish congratulating his players. And Old Trafford bathed in sunshine as Liverpool celebrate. A performance of which their supporters will be proud. And that 
picture really speaks more than a thousand words. So does that one. The bond between these people and Kenny Dalglish has never been stronger than it is now. This is a really great scene. Very meaningful to the players as well. Just look at that. So the warmth of the relationship on Merseyside between players and fans is underlined here at Old Trafford. Kenny Dalglish quite deliberately staying out till last. So the spirit of this great club lives on and Kenny Dalglish will lead his side out at Wembley alongside their Merseyside neighbours Everton on Saturday week having beaten Nottingham Forest by three goals to one. Very emotional occasion obviously John and a tremendous performance by Liverpool. Yeah I thought we played great, uh, first half especially I thought you know we just eased off a bit towards the end and let him in. But, uh, all due respect to the lads, like we come back in second half and you know we got the two goals, which you know made the same. Sure, Steve, I think you're the man that Nottingham Forest loved to hate today because it was a powerful performance by you in midfield. Oh, I don't mind that. I think um, winning was all important, and um, that was what we aimed to do: win at all costs. And um, the lads played their hearts out, and really, we're happy with the three-one. We, we should have settled it before half-time, I think. But um, we believed in ourselves and we only had to keep going and we did all credit to everybody. We kept going. And one of the men who did it for you, of course, as he did in the semi-final 12 months ago, John Aldridge. Tell us about this one, John. Um, I don't remember much of it, actually. I remember Barnsley picking me up and having a shot. And uh, I've just followed in in case the goalie saved me. And uh, I've just got the rebound well. Yeah, but you say that, it made a tremendously quick reaction. Aye, aye, it's not bad. I'm happy with that. You're going over your head, aren't you? Aye, I don't know with my neck muscles, I think. Aye. <laughs> and now the second one. Uh, I think Razor done great here, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he chipped the far post and I thought Peter was going to flick it off my head. And I've just got above him and, and just uh, got my head to it. Probably foul Peter there, I think, to score it. <laughs> It really is extraordinary, after all that has happened, that, that Liverpool do win the semi-final and now it's a, an all-Merseyside final against Everton. Yeah, I think um, that's what everyone wanted. I think uh, probably in the country as well as ourselves. Uh, as you said, Merseyside, yeah. I think. Merseyside deserves that. Yeah. We were at Goodison on Wednesday and uh, it was fantastic. So yeah. it's um, all credit to the city, really, not just Liverpool. Yeah. It's Everton as well and um, they deserve uh, a lot of credit as well. There is a problem though because there is now a fixture pile up and it's very likely the FA at this moment are making the decision that the final will be decided on penalties if it's required because there isn't time for an FA Cup final replay. We're just to abide by that if that's the case. Um, I just hope that it's a great occasion. Uh, I'm sure it will be for the fans anyway. And um, whatever the outcome, you know, we'll enjoy it, I'm sure. sure. Steve? Yes, yeah, so well, decisions are made by the, the FA. So it's up to them, really. It's, it'd be a sad occasion if it does get decided on penalties, but we're there and let's hope it, it, it hasn't got to go to penalties. One team or the other wins it and uh, we don't have to have that Hopefully dilemma. That's of course, there's not only the FA Cup for Liverpool to, to look forward to, there's still the possibility and the real possibility of winning the Championship and doing the double. Well, that's right. I think we've got to concentrate on, uh, on the league games now. I know they're going to come thick and fast, but um, there's a lot of pressure off us. We've got to the final, we can enjoy that now and we can uh, concentrate on the league game. Of course, we play Forest Wednesday, which is going to be probably even more difficult. And uh, we've got to get on with it, keep going. Well, on the evidence of that display in the semi-final, I think it'll be difficult for anybody to beat Liverpool. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, Tom.